Welcome to Tush Twins on MalcolmPresents.com, a new internet uh, streaming service where you can get all our back shows and many shows. And now we have the Tush Twins who are recently back, actually last weekend they were at uh, May, I, I, every time they say Mayamonides Field, I hate that name. I know it is, it is, it used Mamonides. to be Keith. It used to Keystone. be Keystone, Keystone, Keystone or something. But it used to be May, uh, yeah. May Monides Keystone. in Brooklyn is famous for May Monides Hospital. I know it's a really crappy name for a baseball stadium. You know what? I call the Brooklyn Cyclone Stadium. End of story. That's what yeah. it is to me. This is this is their logo. Um, we got a t-shirt for Malcolm, which is downstairs. I'll have to wear yes. it when I ever get it out to L.A. For the next show. And, you and, and they get it out when you travel out here. They they gave us this re- insane thing it looks giveaway. Like poopy. That's what we'll, we'll get into that in a minute. Oh, where is the poopy thing? It's like I, I, I don't think we finished with that. That was your fifth fiftieth. Yeah, it was our fiftieth high school reunion. Lincoln High School, yay! Lincoln Stinkin. And Lincoln. and coincidentally, I went to Lincoln also, but uh, a little more than fifty years ago. More ac- 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 52. No, no, actually, it would be uh 61 years. Hi, what I, rem- I, look- I, I remember it people like a piece of poop. That, when, when I was a teenager, I remember people saying the 30th and 40th and 50th anniversary. Like, oh my god, how old, how old are they? I yeah. know, old, oh, but now, well, most of us old. age pretty well. Few people age, some didn't. I, I I'd some say died, yeah. that uh, some people aged more than others, but I think by and large, for a bunch of sixty, seven, and eight year olds, we weren't that bad. We I weren't think, bad uh, at all. We weren't bad at all. I, I think we, uh, you know, some people I recognized, you know, I mean, a little older, but what the hell? And other people, some people uh, I didn't recognize at all. Some people Thank God they had the name tag on. That, that's why, yes, these were the name tags. But, well, it's you, a you, picture of well, Lincoln Heights' AL HF reunion class of 72. You you, you guys this talk is, to each other for a minute because I'm going to check my, my connection because you're, you're freezing a little. No, uh, you're not. Uh, who's no, freezing? You, you talk to each other. Hello, Maxine. What's Max there? Well... You know, well, we're the Tush Twins, and uh, I don't know what's twins. going on here. Excuse the way you I know? look. I just came off the golf course. I got a birdie. I got a birdie. Now you're freezing, Max. Hello? Malcolm? Hello? Hello? Are you guys okay? I'm here. Maxine's frozen. Okay. I I, I connected. My connection is was good. It was good. Max, what, are you there? He's frozen. So that's just me and you, kid. That's us. Hey, Max. Bye, Max. I don't know if you hear. Max is out now. Mm. Now, oh. now, now it's me and you. Oh, hey. So tell me, tell me about your birdie. No, actually, tell me about the, the Lincoln reunion. Well, first, I want to say I just got the golf course and I had my second birdie in my life. And it was on um, Wild Turkey Golf Course in Crystal Springs. Whoa, happy. Is, is that a full golf course or a par three? 18 holes. 18 holes. And, and this is a par three, though. Yes. Oh. Yes, then I, uh, did, did it was a, my putt was a 30 something foot putt and I got right in. Uh, Very happy. Well, I, I, did you play, do you play 18 holes or do you? Uh, yeah, I play 18. So what's it, if did I you can, have a handicap or your handicap is your golf clubs? My handicap is my brain. <laughs> I'm very handicapped. I have a very high handicap. I'm a newbie in golf. I've only been playing for four years. Oh. Well, golf is a, uh, my, my, my 25 year old is starting to play golf. It's the best thing you could do. It really is. I love it. Let's see if Maxine is. 
Um, yeah, I love, where's Max? I don't know. She, uh, she's not asking to be admitted yet. Uh, let me call her. Call her up. We'll see. Yeah, I'll call her. We'll see. But the high school reunion was, a, uh, she says here, having issues at my end. She had to reboot the whole system. Oh, oh okay. So we got the way. What, what's going to be okay. me and you, babe? It's us. You and me. No, the high school reunion was quite fun, but it was 102 degrees by the ocean. 102 it degrees by the ocean. That is... No breeze. Um, there was no really shelter unless you go into the gift shop, the pro shop, whatever shop that was. And um, it was all, it was really, I almost passed out a couple of times. It was so hot. Maybe that's how they planned it. So you could go to the gift shop. The, the pro shop to buy things. Oh, I bought a lot. Maxine and I bought. Oh, Maxine's going to try to do this on her phone. Oh, okay. We'll okay. see. But it was fun because we stopped and we went to Coney Island for you know Nathan's. Yeah, well, well the uh, the Cyclones playing Coney Island. That's a, a, the old steeplechase <laughs> grounds, right? Yes, it's the old steeplechase grounds. I remember going to steeplechase as a kid. It was um, it was one of my favorite places to go, and it closed the uh, year that the um, World's Fair closed that year in '65. It closed down right after that. that. Yeah. How come the wasn't the parachute uh, that continued to operate, didn't it? In the same time, it closed down right after the World's Fair. Um, it was they said it was a danger. I've been on the parachute jump. That's twice. That's, yeah. I, I've never been on. I always use the excuse that it was too expensive. I think the real. Now my grandfather took me on it, and you go up slowly, and it's boom, 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 and then you stay on the top, and it's supposed to drop down and open right. a parachute, and you're supposed to bounce a little bit. It goes up, but it kept sticking, and we kept getting stuck. And then finally, the parachute's open, you float down. It's quite nice, but. The la I went on the last weekend it was on. Ah. But they can't tear it down. It's a national monument now. But, but, can, can, but do they don't have, you know, uh, do, do they have the parachute things up there? Or they're not, well, I know no, it's not. No, just the um, the whole parachute with, this, with the wires. That's it. No more parachutes, you know, the things. No more. The seats are all gone. Just the wires. Just the wires. And then, yeah, an Astro. We used to be Astroland. Now I think it's called Luna Park. They had a um, an observation deck. It was beautiful. That's gone. I think we're about to get Maxine back again. Connecting to audio. Max, are you there? Are you there? Hello. I, I see her face, and she she has a scar a scar scowl. Okay. My, my computer, my internet in my house is down. So that's, that's, that was mine. We had a blackout the other day. We had so, a four and a half hour blackout. Well, this is it. Sorry, guys. It's okay. Why, why do they call it blackout? They're talking about everything that's negative. They say black. You notice? Like Because the lights all go out and everything it's turns black. Why is it it gets, it gets dark, dark, so they should call it dark out. Uh, suck out. <laughs> it does suck out there. I mean, it really was. Sucks. Um, it happened that um, from from Morristown all the way up to Sussex County, we lost power for about four hours. What was it caused by? It was caused by a power line, a transformer, fell on Route 80, missed people. Thank God, no one got hurt. But thank God it wasn't rush hour and um, the whole wire, the whole system went out for the upper Jersey. Oh, wow. So Passaic, Morris County, Passaic County and Sussex lost power for over four and a half hours. Was it caused by over usage? It would be, no, they, the wires, the whole transformer went, fell onto the highway. Oh. The wires from above fell. Wham. That, that, that ain't no good. That ain't no good. But thank God I have my air conditioner is always on very low. Show today. Hello. 
Hello. So what are we doing Hi. here, ladies and germs? So we're just talking about the power outage. Now you're back. Now we can talk about our and, and I, trip to Coney Island. Do, do, do you see me? I do. I see you. Yeah. Because uh, my screen just went to. Uh... I see you. Because right. I can't see me on my screen. <laughs> I see you on your screen. You look lovely. Isn't it just lovely? Anyway, let me know if there's any problem with my screen because I can't see me and I'm I'm trying to get back on. But you guys well, talk. We were, well, we were talking about um, the reunion high it was, Matt, and reunion and 102 degrees. Okay, I'm back on. Yeah, it was one of the hotter days I can remember in general. In so, Brooklyn, you know, especially, put a, put a bunch of uh, 60 plus year olds in a baseball stadium. No. Before that, we went we went to Nate's, right? You went to Nate's, was, yes. It was the dog and the frifras, and wow, it was freaking hot, but worth every cent. Oh, my God. I couldn't stop I eating it. Hot dog now. It's five something. Five, five, no, five something? Five something. I don't know. Some weird number, like 529 or yeah, I, I don't know. And French fries? Six forty nine for a large. I think a hot dog and a fry is going to cost you like eleven dollars, ten or eleven dollars. Eleven dollars. Yeah, yeah. For French fries and a hot they dog. They used to have deal. They used to have two. You can get two dogs, fries, two. and a drink for eleven dollars. We were hoping for that one, but they they don't even have that anymore. It's it's done. It's over. There's no the expression sticker shock. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, I have to admit it was ridiculous because when we used to go as kids, well, that's something that's like five years ago. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. It used to be a hot dog was fifty cent, uh, twenty five cents. The large French fry, 50, fifty cents, fifty cents for a hot dog, 50. and the large fries were twenty five cents, and the small ones were fifteen. Right, you get like a hot dog, fries, and a drink for a buck and a quarter or something. Yeah. It was yeah, it was ridiculous. And when I saw how much it cost for three hot dogs, two French fries, and one small drink, it was thirty something dollars. Yeah, I, I I don't know whether I could, but yeah, not that I don't have the money, but I even could spend that much money for a hot dog. Well, so you have you to wear the hot dog, and people were there. People were buying it. No one said a word. They paid up their money and everyone was eating hot dogs and fries. I mean, I don't know. Hey, well, I was happy that we were there. Cause, and, but I was happy that Les, your husband was with us because every time someone cough or something without a mask, he pulls us away from people. It was so cute. Dennis yeah, was so happy him. that he took care of us. He, he, got, he got his reunion. He got his own little pass. Oh. Says He's now an Abraham Lincoln High School grad. What high school did he go to? And I got mine. He went to music and art. Oh. He went to music and art. Yeah, and he, and, he, and a year before, he's a year year ahead. Well, what so, did he go to music and art? Was he a music major? Yes. Mm -hmm. He yeah. plays the bassoon. Uh, he was really excellent. He played in youth symphony orchestra. He played with uh, Leonard Bernstein. He had a really fine teacher. Where, where he did he go wrong? What? Where did he go wrong? When did he, he go became wrong? adopted. And he became, he became adopted. adopted. It was hard to get into, um, you know, as a first chair of a bassoon in 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 the seven late seventies. There were a lot of you know orchestras were closing up actually. Yeah. So it was very very hard, and him ever getting into philharmonic, you know, would be near impossible. We got I, our hats I, though. I I, I like the bassoon. I first started listening to it when there was a, a cable show on, and I forget right. the name of it. And it was like a a, a young Latino band uh, orchestra leader, maestro, hmm. in New York. And uh, in Mozart in the Jungle. Excuse me. That, oh. Was it Mozart in the Jungle? Yeah. Oh, that was a good show. That was I need a great to watch show. That again. I think I need to watch that one again. I never heck. saw that. I See, have to watch yeah, that. Yeah. Mozart you is... never saw Mozart in the Jungle on Amazon? No. no you... With Bernadette Peters. And what a wonderful. You will love it. I'm going to watch it. Seasons. This is I'm some of your alley that 
it's ridiculous you didn't see that that show. I didn't see it, but don't forget, I didn't have um, Amazon until a couple of years ago. Uh, sp oh, speaking of that, I, uh, yesterday I saw uh, Belfast finally. Oh, how was oh, it? Oh, I have to it see good. that. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. yeah, but the uh, the first part of it is slow, and if you're used to, you know, if you see it at home, there's a tendency of losing your concentration. Hmm. Because when you're in the house, you know, there's so many distractions. You're distracted, I know. But as it got, on, you got more involved with the family. The last movie I saw at a theater was Star Wars in <laughs> December of 2019. That was the last in person movie I, I saw. And I think so the last, last one for me was the last was James Bond before this last one. I think it was Casino, the one where M dies. That was the last movie yeah, I saw in a the theater. You have to do a, yeah. uh, a that warning. That was sad. But and in I, any event, um, kind of back, yeah. back to this, uh, back to this uh, reunion here. Well, we went to Brooklyn and uh, we also toured Brighton. Brighton before Beach, we, yes. Before yeah. we went to, to Coney. Brighton we, Beach. We went up Brighton, Brighton Beach Beach. Avenue. We went through certain blocks. We went. We saw the old Lincoln Savings Bank building. We uh, that was a chase. It's a chase. We it was frankly really sketchy and run down as far as I'm concerned. Right, <laughs> I, it, it was, was so weird. And it was know, weird. It was weird. It changed. We grew up as an old ninety nine nine tenths Jewish neighborhood, mm -hmm. but you knew it was Jewish by every other block having a Chinese restaurant on it. There was not like one it. Chinese restaurant in all of Brighton, I saw. But how, yeah. many, but how many Russian restaurants? A, a lot. Everything is in Russian now. All the stores, we, yeah. all the places to eat, uh, everything had, you know, Russian. I, mean, I think the last time I was there was about 10, maybe 15 years ago. Yeah. Uh, right. and, and the thing that I liked about it, even though it changed, there was still the activity there. The businesses were open. They weren't closed. Uh, all the stores were open. Uh, I mean, they might have been Russian or Armenian. They're or still whatever, open, but, but they're it's still open. so it's so weird. There's nothing that we recognize from right. you, it's, except for one place. And it's probably uh, bought over. It's Zuckerman's Drugstore. The pharmacy. Drug the pharmacy right. Zuckerman's Drugstore on the corner of Brighton 7th Street. It's still now, there. I know old man. Yeah, it's still there. I know old man Zuckerman is gone for many zillions of years. He was old when I was a kid. Well, he was old man Zuckerman when you were a teenager. Yes. Right. Exactly. Yeah. So He was. But, He's probably in his 50s. Who knew? <laughs> so so, we, so we, we get to the, uh, the ballpark. We're all literally drenched in sweat, like everyone. Mm -hmm. It's like no one could. Get... And we finally found the place where we are, and 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 then we start seeing people, and people looking at you. You're looking at them. Mm -hmm. I mean, Pegs. it was like who who's who, and finally, we you know you recognize someone, and you go, "What are you up to these days? Like, where do you live? Yeah, what, I, what, have I, you, what have you done for the last fifty years? Right, and and. And I didn't get that much information to tell you the truth. No. And it was kind of it's very close like, now. It was like a dancing through the time warp, but not getting some of the information you think you would be getting from people. Like they really, a lot of them didn't really say what they were doing now or whatever. I mean, some were, some are re retired, some are still working. It was, it was hard to, to really pick up on stuff. There wasn't really much that much chit chat about classes. I mean, I think I spoke to someone no one about, about classes at all to me. It was and thank hard. God Melanie, Melanie had the yearbook. Because well, right, most no. people kept looking at me. I don't know who you are. Then Melanie would take the yearbook and show my picture. They oh, go, that's... Oh, wow. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, it was, it was kind of fun. Well, no, I, they knew I, finally when they saw my picture and who I was. It was it was really it was interesting in the fact that there was not much in from I mean certain people I knew certain people I know what they do I mean you know the ones who put this put this over was uh, Bob who was the, the uh, class president all those years ago and he was the uh, program director uh, for NBC in San Francisco uh, it was Gail who uh, really got all this together I mean 
and she a, she does some promo items. And she does promo items, and uh, I, man, if she if they asked her to do the promo for Seinfeld, it would have been a lot better than whatever they came up with. This oh. this is the promo we got. It has the cyclones on the side because it was Seinfeld day or night, whatever. They thought mm -hmm. that the building that had the scene with where the marble lived. ride where they try to get the marble ride back for uh, George. And oh, kind yeah. of funny because George worked for the Yankees. Yes. So, so there were some people wearing Yankee hats and I'm like, this is the Cyclones, this is the Mets. Anyway, so th this is, this is the, the box. It came in this box, you know, it says marble ride. The top it has like the cyclones. And then it is this this contraption that's up uh, and it has a place. That's where, where they can, lived. That's where point. that's where the well no 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 it was they, where they, the uh, George it was George's in-laws who lived there. And they visited George's in-laws and he left the marble rye or or needed to get a no, marble no, rye to them. He took it he took it back. Yes he took right. Well, he also well. Also Jerry's got, the one who ran off with it. Well, Jerry took it from the old lady. Right, took it from the right, old lady. So this is supposed to be the marble rye. I can't it looks tell like you what poopy. it really kind of looks like. It looks almost like Mr. Hanky. It looks should be. Self I know, poopy. Uh, Mr. Hanky. <laughs> whoever designed it wasn't Jewish. Whoever designed it was on drugs. Probably. <laughs> and they didn't get oh. it from me. But the hats are good. We like the hats. I like the promo hats. I, I the hat, the, the hat. T-shirt. I, I want to see. I want to see the t-shirt. Yeah, I'll, I'm going to wear it proudly. Oh, by the just, uh, I don't think we discussed it, but uh, I, you know, the other week, and then Scully passed. Yes, we. Yeah, it's and, sad. And and they had a, uh, uh, well, not a service, but they did a first get game back at the uh, Dodger Stadium. They did a whole thing before the game, and I watched. I was watching it, and mm. I, I haven't been a Dodger fan actually since Pretty they cool. moved, which yeah. is only about since 1958. Yeah, uh, you know they're in Los Angeles. I live in Los Angeles, but I I've, haven't really got attached to them. All of a sudden, right. with with uh, uh, that whole memorial service, I think I'm a yeah. Dodger fan again. Oh, okay. Well, that's, that's okay. You live in Los Angeles. You should yeah. be. Well, well, I, well, I, I think I finally forgave them now that the O'Malley's aren't part of it. The O'Ma Walter O'Malley, I really hated. Not the not the uh, crew. Well, we have uh, the Mets are really on a tear. There, they're second in wins to the Dodgers in in Major League Baseball. I mean, yeah. and uh, so I'm going to ask Mr. Cohn, who owns the Mets, to please replace. The scoreboard and diamond vision screen in the cyclone stadium because it is horrid horrible I mean, yes it, please. it's terrible they showed clips of seinfeld they showed you can't even it's it's, it's really very neat. fuzzy right and you need it they it's 20 plus years old get a new one and i don't think it's a billionaire that. what did he make his money from i, I don't really know I would have to look it up. I have no idea. But well, whatever it is, he should fix that up because the stadium is quite lovely, but there's also no shade anywhere, basically. It was so hot and he, it was just no place, no cooling stations or any place to cool off. Yeah, I mean, unless you go to the, uh, the store to buy gift something. Shop, the store. The yeah, shop. that's what we did. Yeah, I, I, again, as you know, guys, I'm a Coney Island native. I don't remember any days where it was that hot that, that you even needed uh, air conditioning in your house you opened the window and you always got a sea breeze right because we're by the ocean there were a couple of days a year my parents would take a bucket of ice and put a fan on it yeah, that was I our air conditioning i remember 90 degree heat waves I, yeah, I mean, okay. yeah I mean, the, but the beach is a little cooler because you get the breeze you do there was no breeze that day well, maybe two no. three days two three days in the summer i had to go out on our veranda our veranda, you open up the window and you went on the fire escape. Mm -hmm. Wow. I used to go on the fire escape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, was, that was our patio. Well, our backyard we, uh, was the beach. <laughs> we walked to the beach. I mean, that's yeah. where we went. Two blocks that's away from the beach and a block and a half away from the bay. Yeah, so you were really close. So we, 
I had to walk like six blocks up Ocean Parkway because I, I went to half a block. I went to like Bay Seven was straight down. That's yeah. where we looked. That's where we watched the fireworks. Every every go, Tuesdays on, and Thursdays. Right. We used to so go I, under the ball. Remember park. Tuesdays, I think. I don't remember Thursdays. So Tuesdays remember, and Thursdays. Thursdays. It was Tuesdays and Thursdays. It was twice a week. Then it became only Tuesdays. First, it was Valentine, and then when Valentine went out, the Schaefer took over. Schaefer. You, well, I remember Schaefer. Schaefer. Right. And, yeah, Schaefer took over. I remember the Schaefer, Schaefer beer, right. the fireworks. They, yeah. they were the they put it on, and you would mm -hmm. hear at the end all the boat horns. You know, mm -hmm. the end, you had, mm -hmm. well, they, they, they had a boat mm -hmm. off of the uh, uh, Steeplechase Pier. Yeah, uh -huh. that's yeah, where that's they right. would go up and down. And we would, my father sometimes would take us to a place. It was on the boardwalk. It was Playland, a little place. You could go on a Ferris wheel and you'd watch it from the Ferris wheel at times. Remember that, Max? Oh. Yeah, yeah. And yes. then, or the one then when we were younger, we got a little older, we were allowed to go by ourselves. Uh -huh. But we turn around, my dad was there, or next week, your dad Somebody was there. Had to be there. They were watching they were everywhere we walked. So, so anyway, the, or the Wonder Wheel. The, it was a small Ferris. We oh. used to go on the Wonder Wheel a lot. We loved we, the Wonder Wheel. Well, I, I'm sorry, we, we, didn't, we didn't get to go on the Cyclone or the Wonder Wheel. I mean, it was just too it. hot. It was, it, yeah. It, it, yeah, it was just too hot. But you know, by and large, it was it was it was nice to see people. And we finally decided to sit down, like the seventh inning, and we watched yes, the rest of the game. Yes. The Cyclones won, by the way, three to one. And that same day, our Metsies uh, beat the Braves in a doubleheader. So woo, it, was a good day, it was a good day for Met fans that day. And we that screamed. That was the best. What did we scream at? We started screaming, Link, Link and Mom, 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 and, and no and one else did it with us. No, no one else did it, but people turned around who knew what we were doing and they looked at us, but they didn't partake it in. And I'm like, no, it was weird. Yes. No, you know, school spirit. Were, were there any surprises or people that you saw that you, you know, that you said, just, oh my God? Yeah. No, I just said, uh, I really didn't care. There were a few people I was happy to see. I was glad to see. Um, What's yeah, there were a few people I enjoyed seeing. Did you see any neighbors? Sheila Rubin and this other friend. It was uh, fun. People, we saw, we saw a bunch of folks. You know, Mel was there, uh, Linda. Um, yeah, they, I was they were happy to see Melanie. And, and yeah, and we, we saw, you know, oh, Scott was there. He helped do this. I just said kind of hi. And, um, and Ruben, who I hadn't seen in a, obviously 50 years, uh, was yes. sitting with him for a while. And um, oh, I know it's happy to see Wendy Pecos. Wendy, Wendy, so Wendy, Pecos. Pecos. yeah. Well, Wendy she lived Pecos. around the corner from me on Brighton Sixth Street, but our parents so were Wendy, friends. Sheila, we saw yeah, Sheila Ruben, you know, Bonnie, was fun. and and um, there were there were a lot there were kids I definitely recognized. There were some people I you know didn't. Uh, and I didn't recognize a lot of. Well, we had like but, a fourteen hundred person class. Yeah, graduating right. Class. And, uh, oh, my friend Angie was there. She she did sports. Oh, we're so happy to see sports. Angie. Yeah, she did a lot of sports. I was so happy. So, so yeah. So well, that Max, is, as you know, we used to have a a Lincoln alumni club out in Los Angeles. Right. There was a, uh, a Lou Zygman organized. He was an attorney, and he graduated Lincoln. And it, well, I, I think he graduated Beverly Hills High School, but he started out in Lincoln. And uh, we had quite a few people. And I think you were at one of the. Uh, uh, I was at, at the yeah. first one, I think, uh, at Bernie Cornfeld's house. At, at, it was on the Beverly Hills on the hill. Yeah, Beverly. Uh, right. he got, with he Bernie got Cornfeld, a, who I think I think he gave us his house because he was in jail at the time. Oh, my oh, God. Isn't that, isn't that, that exciting? He was a millionaire and I think he was at stock fraud. Well, they, they had a, a, they did like a replica of Cyclones, of, of Brighton and Coney. They brought in Charlotte Russes. They yeah. brought in Nathans. They did a whole bunch of stuff. And there was one other person, I didn't even remember her name, from our class that year. And 
we were the, and that was the only reunion I ever went to, aside from we met the girls a few years ago in the city. Uh, so that was, you know, that well, was it. Well, well, the fun game, a fun one I went to was uh, they had it at Beverly Hills High School uh, oh. a few years later. And at Beverly Hills, they had a basketball game. Lincoln High School versus Madison High School, which was one of our traditional rivals. Right. Yes, my mom went to Mad. My mom graduated Madison. Yeah, that, that was. She went rival. to Lincoln first, and she went to Madison. Yeah, my right. mom was my mom Lincoln, but my uh, dad went to a graduated Erasmus. Ah, but so my we father was. Where did he go? He was up in. Um, uh, up in the Heights, um, Washington Heights. But, but, but what was funny is uh, we played a basketball game and I was on the basketball team and uh, you know, I, I was playing and it was, I think the only famous one that I remember was Lou Gossett. He oh, was, right. But, right. but anyway. Hey, how come Lee, Lee Mazzilli didn't show up? Yeah, yeah. well, he should have. He should have. He should have. I, I was at a... I was at a dinner with him, uh, um, uh, you know, with the, the, all the um, sports clubs. It was a dinner and uh, he was there at my table. And then when I was pregnant with Ian, we had these really great seats, remember? Yes. High ball game. And I was out like that. We were sitting really close and we went, he got up and he hit a pinch hit, you know, game winner, walk off right. game winner. And he looked at me. I looked at him. I went like this. He went like he knew. He knew it was me. Definitely. How come he named the baby after him? I don't think so. No, I don't think <laughs> oh, so. Although, yeah, get, uh, getting back to my basketball story. So I was I was playing in uh yeah in, in the team and the, uh, yeah, the Lincoln team and they had a, a referee and it was official and uh, I think it was a first or second play. You know, I cut in the pivot. Ball mm -hmm. thrown to me, and I try to take a hook shot, and I'm get fa I get fouled. So I go to the foul line, and all of a sudden I realize there are about a hundred people looking at me because <laughs> they're right. in the stands. Right, right. And I so that's two hundred eyes, and you all of a nervous. sudden my muscles became tight. Oh, you got nervous. Yeah, well, yeah. I'm looking. You know, you're looking in the line. You're you're trying to relax, and all right. of a sudden. There are a hundred people looking directly at me, waiting for me to take a shot. Okay, Malcolm, I got one better. Try to try to not get nervous when you're singing the national anthem a cappella. You can't make a mistake. And there's, you know, different stadiums. There could have been twenty thousand. There could have been forty thousand. Yeah. Um, St. Louis Stadium, Mark McGuire. It was sold out. They were like. I don't know how many. By the way, when you did the national anthem, did, did you have the words up on the scoreboard? No. no we, we, we had to know them. They had to know every word. They had to know everything. I had to know my part. I mean, I did like 20 of them. I didn't do all of them. I didn't do the LA one, the, the West Coast. But now, um, that, it, uh, I, I, as our farewell, because our time's up, I let this extended be a little extra because we had that little screw up at the beginning. So I hope yeah, you. Yeah, sorry, sorry about that, yeah. folks. Anyway. <laughs> Our exit, you have a choice of two things. Yes. Yeah. Sing the alma mater of uh, Lincoln High School. Here's to Lincoln, cheers to Lincoln. R written by, uh, I, I think that was uh, Kay Millett, who wrote everything from from uh, PS 188 to Mark Twain to Lincoln High School. Or you can sing the national anthem. Yeah, I'm um, as, our way, as our way out. Here's as to Lincoln, stinking. Here's to Lincoln, Lincoln, please upon us high. Sing a praise Lincoln, upon the breezes, Lincoln. shout it to the sky. Okay. Oh, okay. Bye, Bye, guys. I'll see, <laughs> see you next week. See you next week. Keep cool. We're the Tush Twins. Bye. Malcolm presents. Tush out. Bye.